guys. We have a bunch of footage and 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 things that have happened on this that podcast we've never that aired. we've never aired before. Nobody's seen it. And we're going to air them. Yeah, because uh, Fancy and George decided they want something to do over the holidays. So they're going to be commenting and talking about stuff that you've never seen that we've put in the vault. And we're unearthing it right now for you, bad friends. Yeah, fun. Fun? You two are bad friends. Who are these two idiots? A white dude and an Asian dude. You two are disgusting. Well, you two are something. We're bad friends. Hey, bad friends. Feliz año 2022. Hope you guys had an awesome, awesome holiday. Uh, I'm your host today, Fancy B, and we're going to do something we've never done before. I'm going to show you two episodes we've never aired. Why, you might ask? Well, because Bobby or Andrew or both, while recording, didn't feel they were on. They weren't clicking as much. They weren't as funny. I think that's complete bullshit. We're going to cut all that stuff. We're going to cut this up. It's so bad, this episode. It's so bad. Let's start again. We're going to cut it up. None of it. We're not rolling because all the stuff we just did was a waste. I just feel I just feel like not connected to it. I know. Delete no, it delete all, it. Delete it off the face of the earth. All face of the planet. I'm so loopy. You're going to have to cut so much of this. I He's know. not in a good mood. Mo- His energy is weird. We're not clicking. We're not clicking. It, it, come in here, uh, Andre. We're going to talk about this this episode. This All this stuff has to really be deleted off the face of the earth. <laughs> All right, let's start over. The first episode you guys are going to see is the fourth episode we ever shot. It was my first time on the show. Uh, you'll see the the set as it was, like completely bare. The, the set that you guys shit on a lot um, before any of this stuff was was here. Um, it was the, you know, the show. Well, George was the only producer. We didn't have as many cameras. We didn't have as much uh, stuff as we do right now. And it comes at the right time because, as Andrew mentioned uh, on the New Year's episode, we are moving. We're moving to a bigger set to accommodate for all of the stuff that is happening uh, on Bad Friends. Please let us know what you think. If you think this is funny, if you think it was worth for me going into the vault and unearthing this, this episode. So, without further ado, like... You guys make fun of me. Uh, let's watch episode four of My Friends. It's a charity. We have them on as a charity. We know this. It's like, hey, it's like, you know, I have my friend who has a mental disability. Right. He, he, you know, can he, if I worked at McDonald's, can he be the fry guy? Have you ever given somebody like that a job just beca- just out of charity? I just did with George, with the Tiger Belly and then with this. Why do you think you continue to give George charity then? Because he has, uh, I feel sorrow, pure sorrow. It's like when I see Yemen kids starving. You know, okay. The kids in Yemen starving. I look at George and I go, he's starving for pussy. He's starving for attention. He's starving for... Is there anything that you think he's not starving for? Whiteness. What, you think he doesn't want to be white? No, I think he does, he's full of it. Right. He's full of whiteness and um, entitlement. Yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but not, that, that's the farm shit, though. Right. It's he's farm a, whites. Well, he's fixing the cameras right now. How, do, how does everything look? You, uh, he doesn't have good eyesight, so you wouldn't even know. It's like, a, you know, the fry guy. Hey, you put the fry on too much in, in the oil. Why can't you talk? You're not going to talk on the podcast about, about oh, what we about were just what? talking about? About what? Why do you think you? Why is it that you think you're not? You haven't worked hard enough. You're not famous enough. You don't want to talk about the the person. You don't want to talk about the person that I just that we just brought up. No, what I'm saying is is that you know for the amount of time that I've been doing comedy, sometimes you're in situations where you're around a friend who is just doing more and doing better. How many how, and, how many years it, have you been doing comedy? For over twenty years. And so you think to yourself, what, where did I go wrong? But you know what? If I look at what I do have, I'm grateful. Yeah, but it doesn't sound like it. Yeah, I want to, sh- to put a shotgun in my mouth. <laughs> you know what I mean? And pull the trigger. You know, and just <laughs> all over it. And they'll, they'll say fucking bad friends on the fucking wall. That would be tight art for the show. 100%. You know the fa- You know the fans hate the show. They hate the desk. They hate the decor. They say it looks like a dentist office. I told. I fucking already told you that you fucking, you have no artistic um, gut instinct. This wasn't art. This was me putting something together. In a shitty way. To get it done as fast as possible. In the most terrible way possible. To, yes. to give it, to put the show out. Yeah. How much time did you spend on it? 
You never give me the chance, Chachi. How much time did you spend hey, on Chachi. it? Hey, Chachi. How much time? Welcome back to How Much Time Did You Spend On It? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Our yeah. contest today is yeah. Bobby Lee. Bobby, how much time did you spend on it? Let me ask you this. Ooh, that's wrong, friend. Nothing. Will you listen to me right now? I'm listening. All right. You have different degrees of chefs, correct? You, you have the guy at McDonald's. That's not a chef. That's a cook. Oh, whatever, that guy. Well, don't disrespect real chefs. All right, then you have the chef at Chef Chef Boyardee. Not a chef. <laughs> chef Boyardee is a real chef, No, dude. he's not. Look at his name. Why would they put chef on the fucking thing? Because it sounds nice. They're, gonna, they're not going to write you, line you cook Boyardee. Mr. Schultz is not a doctor? Who? The Dr. Schultz, the foot guy. Schultz? Dr. Schultz? Schultz. Schultz. Whatever. It's Schultz. I buy it. It's very good. You do. And I love you. You know what? And you make my f- relieve my feet every day. Thank you. You buy Dr. Schultz because you like the extra lift. It's not for the comfort. That's because you're a tiny person. I want to play you a song. We can't play songs on this podcast, can we? Uh, not without getting Ah, oh, fuck. I know what song it is already, and you know what? It's gonna piss me off. You know, I want to. Cu- I want to cut this off right now. I'm yeah, not gonna, I, I know, but you're gonna play. I'm not gonna song play the again. song, but you like, played can it I sing last the lyrics? Week. I didn't you play, play it. it. La- yeah, you did not play it last week. Before no, the this show. is Randy Newman. Yeah. Short people got <laughs> no reason. Short people got no reason to live. They got little hands, <laughs> little eyes. Walk around telling great big lies. They got oh, little God. noses and yeah. tiny little teeth. Yeah. They wore platform shoes on their <laughs> nasty little feet. <laughs> oh, bro. Bro, it's people like you. Do you feel like better? You. you know, I, I... Do you feel better as a friend? Do you feel better? I, I absolutely not. And also, I've been watching a show on Netflix called I Am a Killer. I watched it. You watched that show? Yeah. Yeah. Every single one, I think that's Santino. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like you. I don't know what happened. You're, you, you fucking won the lottery by not. I don't know circumstances or whatever. You think I could have been a serial killer? You could have killed somebody accidentally. Yes. Accidentally. How on do you purpose? Know? On purpose. No, no, no. Right. I, I, I've killed someone accidentally. I've never done it on purpose. I you, killed three guys in Mexico on accident. I crashed an ATV and I killed three guys. Like Matthew Broderick. Same. Yeah. I killed three guys in Mexico on an ATV and- Are you joking right now? Nope. And how, you feel good about that? I don't feel anything about it. They're gone. Yeah. You know, Latinos, what they call them. Huh. They're real people too. They, they weren't, first of all, they were white. Oh, fuck. They were tourists. It was a white tourist family. What, from England or from where? That, uh, they, were, they were South African. That's how I knew, that's how I know you're lying. No, South Africa. You would have said South African earlier. You were Attica, and then you said South Africa. Because I was stumbling, I was thinking about telling you which one, where they're really from. South Africa. Because you're making it up. South Africa. I was speeding at them in the ATB. And they go, stop right there. No, we're on the ATB as well. <laughs> yeah. And I crashed into him. I killed a family, a mother, a, do- a mother, a daughter, and a dad. You know, I ran over a guy. Shut up. Right, George? I ran over a guy. I hit, if, if we're being genuine, yeah, I hit yeah. a guy with my car. I'm dead serious. I didn't kill him, but I hit him with my my he, guy. My he guy might be dead. It, it can never walk again. You paralyzed a man. Yeah, well, you killed three people. That was a joke. Me too. <laughs> Dude, what did you do? All right. So, um, <laughs> when I was 17 years old, have you told this before? Has he told this before? I barely remember. So maybe a long time ago. Yeah, a long time ago. Tell so me. I should not tell it. No, I want to know. I've never heard this story. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. Yes, it is. You paralyzed a guy? It's not that big of a fucking deal? Yes, it is. Oh. Hey, I paralyzed a guy. Not so big of a deal. For oh. who? You? <laughs> you have legs. You walked again. Yeah. So a man is in a chair somewhere. I wobble. You do. You roly-poly. Yeah, roly-poly. Um, You're like those Ru- Matryoshka dolls, those Russian... Tr- you have low bass. I was driving down the street mm-hmm. in my... Uh, I had a Toyota truck. And um, don't do that. Don't wink at the camera about a Toyota truck. It was nice though. And uh, <laughs> at a Toyota truck, I was going down the street. Yeah. And somebody had lifted the stop sign out of the ground, so there was no stop sign. Re- really? Well, you look at the police report. This is like a bad teenage fucking. Pre- I was a teenager. It was like a move. Bad teenage. Movie. I was 16, 17 years old. Okay. So I just turned to right, and the next thing I knew, I see a body fly over my car. 
<laughs> you didn't feel the body? You well, didn't no, feel it? You just, I turn well, I right? I hear kung-kung. And I see, ah. And there's a guy, ah. Yeah, like that. And you hit a man. And then I ran him over. Because <laughs> he, he hit the back of my car in his motorcycle. He went oh, over he went my car. Over your car. Yeah. And then went pop pum pop pum And did you stay around to see if he was okay? Yeah, of course. I'm not a fucking psychopath. Okay. I pulled over to the side. Oh. Is it your was it your fault? Yeah. What did by the way, what an Asian ringtone. You picked the most Asian. Yeah. Hello. You pulled over, cops came, amber lamps came. No, what happened? No, let me so we get out of the car. Mm. And um, I'm laughing. You're laughing? Yeah, because whenever I'm in a stressful situation or I think, because I think my life is over. I don't know. When I'm in a situation where I'm like, it's only happened a couple of times in my life where I'm in a horrific situation where it, it happens either when I'm in a funeral, you know what I mean? Or it happens when. No, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you laugh at a funeral? Or if I see somebody like really get injured, I'll laugh maniacally. That because it's so horrifying. And you say I'm fucked up? That's so fucked up. It's called a defense mechanism, Charge. That's not defensiveness. That's fucking chaos in your brain. Whatevs, bro. Things are broken. There's a wires bra, cross. Bra, bra, bra. Whatevs, bra. Oh, okay, bra. So he I go pa 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 right. I get out and I go, ka, ka, ka. I said ah, you know, like I'm like a like a psychopath. <laughs> yeah. Right. And then um I go, I should get him off the road. So I pulled his body. Shut the fuck up. You touched a guy who's you just hit with your car. What the fuck am I gonna do? Leave him there? You don't you don't touch them. No, you're not supposed to touch those. It people. was car, it was trafficy. Stop! Stop! No, I pulled him on the side of the road. Okay, you and grabbed him by pick, the legs. No, his shoulder and I, and I you know, by his shirt. And I was just dragging him. Jesus! And then I took um, parts of his motorcycle. You know what I mean? Like screws or like a wheel and whatnot. And I was like putting it on the side of the road. <laughs> and then the cops come. And then um, ambulance and everything, they take him away. I remember calling my parents. Was he coherent? Did you talk to him? He was going... Like so, that. yeah, so totally normal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you, you try to talk to him at all or no? He goes, I'm sorry, buddy. While laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> like that. And then what happened? And then, the, and then I remember for years I went to court. And, um, but it turned out he was a pedophile. Oh, so you did a good deed. You paralyzed a pedophile. Yep. You pee peed. Yeah. So if his dick broke, that's God's work. What if his dick was the only thing that still, still did work? And he would still go to like near elementary schools like, (laughs) yeah, get over here, young boy, come sit on my lap. And his dick is the only thing that works. I forget how I found out he was a pedophile, but I think my attorney told me that he had a long rap sheet. Of like being like, I love that conversation with your attorney. Yeah, well, Bobby, he's paralyzed forever, but he was a pedophile to be honest. <laughs> yeah, well, that would because that I think that made me go because I felt such you know me, I'm such a guilty person. Yes, and I'm so sensitive. Yep, that it was like traumatic. Yeah, that is traumatic. Yeah, so but I'm, he's a pedophile, so I guess it's like no no one cares. It completely relieved everything. Right. I don't even think about it. And I think the insurance gave him like a million dollars or something like that. What? Yeah. But not from you. You didn't have to pay anything. The insurance did. But then I couldn't get insurance for a year. I was like, tough to get insurance. But that wasn't your fault, right? He hit you? It wasn't. But I just feel like because there was a stop sign. You oh. Know what I mean? oh, and they pulled the stop sign. I think sign. the argument was that I pulled the stop sign before they got there. But look at me. Yeah, look How at you. How the fuck am I going to pull a fucking stop, stop sign out of the fucking ground? And it was on the ground flat. You know, somebody had done that. Someone hit it and left it there. Yeah, I well, I hit a guy in South Africa, right? You fuck. No, I really did hit a guy oh. on. I hit a guy on Beverly and Crescent Heights, and I mean, I hit him hard. I was driving to a. I was driving to go talk to these people from a show. I was going to get fired from. I was about to get fired. I knew. What show was it? It was a. It was a hosting job I did. Uh-huh. But I knew I was going to get fired. I yeah. knew it was over. Right. So they were going to take me to dinner and have drinks. And I and as I was leaving the apartment, I was like, I don't want to fucking go to this. I know they're just gonna fire me. I just knew it. I was like, just call me. I don't want to go to drinks with you guys. I'm fucking done. Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah. Right. I don't want to do it. Yeah. So I'm driving, and this is like one of those times in LA where it's pouring down rain. Never happens. This was I don't know seven, eight years ago, nine years ago, 
pouring down rain. And the street at Crescent Heights and Beverly flooded. Okay? So I get, th- I get there. There's no one around. I start to go through the light to make a left. A car opposite direction, heading north, splash, splash on my window. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see anything. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. I swerve. Yeah. Guess what I swerve into? A human. A human man. Oh, wow. That's all I hear. Oh, my God. <laughs> window shatters. Glass in my face. No. Glass in my face. Yep. Oh, my God. I pull over. I, I get out. There's a man. His leg looks like it's touching his fucking neck. Whoa. Yeah. He he puts his body up, like pr- cr- pulls himself up. And I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What happened? Three of his friends come running. He ran, he ran illegally across the street. They stayed. So I hit him. His fault. Okay? Yeah. Shatter my windshield, smash my hood. I pull over. A woman pulls over. Some fucking bitch in a in a in a minivan pulls over and is like, I saw it. I saw it. I bet you're fucked up. I bet you're drunk. You hit this guy. How did you not see him? And I was like, shut the fuck up, lady. I was losing my mind. I'm trying to stay balanced. I said, let me call the cops. And the guy goes, don't call the cops. I was like, let me call the cops. I'm going to call an ambulance to make sure you're okay. He goes, don't call the fucking cops. Get the fuck out of here. Don't call the cops. And I was like, why? And he's like, just get the fuck out of here and leave me alone. So I call the cops anyway because I'm like, this is shady. He could leave. And then two years later, be like, right, you- uh, my neck, I'm fucking going to sue you for millions of dollars. Yeah. I call the cops and in traditional LAPD fashion, they don't show up for, I'm, I'm there for a half an hour in the, in the rain, <laughs> yeah. half an hour in the rain. Yeah. This guy's there for probably 15 minutes that half hour. And then finally goes, fuck this and gets up and like hobbles away with his friend. And I'm like, dude, stay. You can't leave. Let me give you my information. <laughs> yeah. And the guy's like, fuck you. Get away from me. Yeah. They all had backpacks on. I imagine they either Pedophile. had. Can I do it? They're can pedophiles? I, well, can I do it? So, my bad. Can I do it? Okay. Because you just did it. I imagine they were either had drugs in their backpack, had a warrant for their arrest, or they just come from a place where they fucked kids. Pedophile. Because they stole the backpacks from kids. Yeah, dude, you wouldn't let me finish the joke. You just cut me off at the fucking turn. I wanted to laugh. Well, you stole it. You stole the laugh. And that's life. Can I, I told you I got arrested in front of the comedy store. No. Yeah, I got pulled over. Do you remember when that guy got shot at the comedy store? A man got shot in the chest and, di- and died. Remember that? Do you not remember that? It was a gang member that got shot and killed at the comedy store. No. You don't remember this? I do. No, yeah, he got shot and killed at Point Blank Range. And it was terrible. And you know no one gave a fuck? You know why? Why? He was a pedophile. Are you being real? No, tell your story. You know who held him? Who? Josh Nasser. Really? Yeah, he held that man's dead body in his arms trying to, like, console him. Is he a pedophile? Yes. <laughs> No, he is. No, Josh Nash is a great guy. But, you know, all those doormen at the comedy store had to, to, get, to get, like, trauma therapy. Why? When you see a di- guy die in front of you, you need therapy. So a guy they- died on one of my flights. I saw, I saw a guy die on my flight. And I thought, and I literally said out loud, if this makes me fucking late to my gig, I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> Are you really? Yeah. Yeah. I saw a jogger. <laughs> yeah, I saw a jogger dead in La Jolla. Oh, no, dude, here's another... A dude died next to me in an AA meeting. No. Yeah. I was at a Wednesday night AA meeting, right, in La Jolla. Mm-hmm. It was called Winner Circle. Okay. Winner's Circle? Yeah, Winner's Circle. Yeah. Not really I don't know right. if it's still there, yeah. but it was. this is in the 80s because I was in high school. I was in AA in the high school. You started AA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been <laughs> AA so long. You've been yeah, fucking... yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I remember he sat next to me. Yeah. And then the AA meeting started, and some guys up there going, yeah, so, you know, my last drunk was on a cliff. I almost jumped off and this and that. And I turned to my left, and this dude's just <laughs> like that. Wait, did he die during the meeting? Yeah, yeah. Of Maybe what? the share was bad. Heart attack? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Heart attack? Yeah, it was a heart attack. But then here's the fucked up part. Uh. It was in La Jolla, so we had a couple of doctors in there, right? So they, they take the guy out. But then they're like, keep the meeting going. Yeah, you got to stay. Now you really got to stay sober. Yeah, right. Because they see a dead guy. I'm going to want to drink. But what was fucked up is I'm sharing. Oh. Right? But all I hear is them doing CPR. Right? So my rock and it was, bottom it was, three, four, yeah, it was five. Fucking, it was fucking up my share. So you got a bad share because of the CPR? Yeah, I was like, I'm Bobby Alcoholic. Three, two, right, one, right. And, uh, and three, two, one. But my mom, three, two. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I can't get it out. So it ruined your moment. It ru- ru- ruined that meeting. But I remember him dying. It was really. Did you ever try to be terrible. funny at AA meetings? Oh, dude, I used to go like this. 
they used to go um, when I was in rehab. Yeah. Um, they would take you to meetings, and you you know you go, they go, is there any newcomers? Uh-huh. Right. So you go, you know, I'm Bobby. I'm an alcoholic, and people, hi, Bobby. Right. I used to go, I'm, and I used to go, yeah, you know I mean, alcoholic. Right. And me and my friend. Well, you're, not, with me. you're not supposed to say their names. Yeah, he's dead. But uh, pedophile. But nice. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, we, I, he, him and I would giggle, laughing. Yeah. And he would do the same thing. He would like share. I'm John, and just fart, and we would just laugh. And out of the um, 22 kids, right, that went to that rehab, he, him and I were the only one to stay sober. Wow. I saw him four years ago. I was at Wise Guys. Salt Lake. Salt Lake, and um, he was in the front row. He was. Yeah. Is my boy. How'd he die? He's not dead. I lied. I but lied is a he a pedophile? No. Whoa. He's a good dude. That's a lot of information to put out about a guy that you just full legal name. What if he gets fired now? He's not. He's a good dude. Where does he's he sober. Work? Where does he work? I don't know. I didn't know. Fuck, man. Let's find out. I don't know where John Basonic is. Don't stop saying his whole name. He no, this is the good guy. He's my friend from rehab. Okay. Okay. You don't know. You don't know. What if he's up to some bad shit now? I think about that all the time. Wow. What if someone from your past that you used to love g- gets into some shit now that you're like, fuck, I can't believe... Somebody from my... Hi- there was a, t- uh, a kid from my high school mm. who um, got arrested for jerking off outside of like a Papa John staring at high school teenage girls. <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell you something? What? He looked a lot like you. I swear to God in my life. I swear to God in my life. Can I show you? This is insane. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 this guy looks like you, dude. In, in charge of sexual exploitation of a child of a police officer from masturbating li- inside his pants. I was on an ice cream parlor window. Sorry, not a Papa John. George, remember I told you what I what, what am I look to be? Bobby Lee. This is the look I'm going for. I, w- I was going to get beard implants. That's you. That's who I wanted to be. Yeah. This is a kid I went That's to high school with. a good look. This is a kid I went to high school with. It's a good look. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. That's a shady good look. He looks dope. Yeah, it looks dope. This kid was a cool, a party animal, man. We used to get high and watch Belly at his house. Remember the movie Belly? Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, he got charged. Um, Masturbating I, inside, of his pants, outside of an ice cream parlor window. Can I tell you another fucked up story? Because it reminds me of that one. Of course. I used to work at a restaurant called The Brockton Villa. It's in La Jolla. Wait a minute. It's still there. Yeah. I know I know that restaurant. Yeah, I used to wait tables there. You years. did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I used to wear a tie, you know what I mean? Yeah. And put my hair in a ponytail. Yeah. And do the wine and the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> What's the fuck? I know. It was terrible. Just you holding a wine bottle with a- oh, I was pro, dude. I've had all kinds of jobs, bro. Okay, pitch me right now. You're, we're, we're at, I'm at the Brockton Villa right now. Yeah. Okay, ready? Here we go. <clears throat> well, anyway, yeah, and that's uh, kind of part hey, of Hey, um, welcome oh. to the Brockton Villa. Uh, would you like to hear about our specials? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. We, we have a salmon filet that's lightly crusted with a, um, a little crumbs. I don't know the fucking thing, but like lightly crusted. We have a tomato basil soup mm. that's freshly made mm. um, in-house. And uh, we also have- um, a uh, banana pudding cake that that we made. Great. <laughs> yeah. So, um, is, is there any way I could be to a manager? <laughs> I'm a little dissatisfied with the service <laughs> off of that. Stitch, Stitch fix. fix. Oh my god, I love Stitch Fix. You know why? Because shopping for new clothes is annoying. It's and annoying. stressful. I don't like it. They make it easy to do the work for you, and they send you what they think. You like but, based on what you told them that you like. But if Stitch Fix didn't have that magic eye, yeah, you know what I mean? They have a magic eye. They got the so magic eye. So when you eye. fill out the quiz and stuff and the form, yeah. and you 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 will literally get the things, right, that you desired that you didn't think you wanted either. You didn't even know. They yeah. offer clothing hand-selected by expert stylists for you, your unique size, style, and budget. Every piece of clothing is chosen to fit your life and the easy solution to finding what makes you look great and feel your best. Stitch Fix has styles and clothing to fit any occasion for women, men, and kids. They ship all over the U.S. and is available in the U.K. as well. All right, cheerio. There's no subscription. Try Stitch Fix once or set up automatic deliveries. You'll just pay $20 for styling fee for each box, which gets credited toward pieces that you keep, and there is no hidden fees ever. Get started today. If you're looking to get something sent to you, I use Stitch Fix. I really do like it. You don't like it? You send it right back. It's amazing. 
You can get started today at stitchfix.com slash badfriends and you'll get 25% off when you keep everything in your fix. That's stitchfix.com slash badfriends for 25% off when you keep everything in your fix. Stitchfix.com slash badfriends. Ship station. Hey, oh. who do we use to ship our stuff to we you? We use the best and the bested ship station, we baby. We use the best. We the only best use the best. Station. We use ship station for our merch here and yep. it's a it's a, a machine that's well-oiled. That's right. If you're selling anything online, we don't need to tell you that uh, it can be frustrating. There's so many carriers. There's a ton of factors that go in for all that stuff. And uh, with more people shopping online every single year, the added holiday stress does not help. So let Ship Station help you out. Yeah. You know, Ship Station works with all major carriers, international and local, including FedEx, UPS, and USPS. Easily import orders from every sales channel, whether that's Amazon, eBay, Etsy, or your own website, and automate just about any shipping task, all from one easy-to-use dashboard. Look, if you're if you're selling anything online, you do need to try out uh, ShipStation. We use it. They're they're wonderful. It's simple. It saves you money. Use our offer code BADFRIENDS to get a 60-day free trial. Just enough time to handle the holiday rush. Just go to ShipStation.com, click on the microphone at the top, and enter the code BADFRIENDS. Bad friends. Just go to ShipStation.com, click on the microphone at the top, and enter BADFRIENDS. ShipStation, May make ship, ship happen. happen. I'm sorry, I didn't memorize the. No, yeah, you should have memorized the special. So anyway, I was working there, fucker. Mm -hmm. I was working there, and there was this waitress who just she was missing. She disappeared. Yeah, like, and we one shift they're like, I forgot her name, Cindy. I don't know her name. Who knows? She disappeared. Well, she came back, but I'll tell you what happened. Oh, so she um, (laughs) she came back. Yeah. So for weeks she disappeared, and then, you know where they found her. Um, she, they found her on Catalina Island in a hotel room tied to a bed. What? And she had been repeatedly raped. Oh my God. This is a terrible fucking story. I know, but let, here's the good part. Oh, there's the good part? <laughs> yeah. yeah. She yeah. turned into an angel. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, she, uh, and she flew away into the sky. No, she, um, they found her. She went back to work two days later. And I remember waiting tables with her. Her eye was still bloodshot. One of her pupils were like completely red. Did you talk to yeah, her? Yeah, I go, Cindy, you're all right? I'm fine. Are you all right? It, well, I don't know what to say. Nothing. You say nothing. No, you have to say something. Uh, here's me. Here's your Cindy. You're yeah. back. Ready? Yeah. S- say hi to me. Hi. Hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's weirder. No, hold on. Yeah. I, uh, what are you doing back here? Well, I was just, I got repeatedly raped on a Catalina Island. No, I know. Yeah, why don't you need to take some time for yourself? I need money. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, well, do you want to take 46 and 47? Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. they don't dip, but they've been here before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's terrible. Yeah, she worked She she worked again. The woman disappeared. She came back. she came back. Yeah, she came back, yeah. That's awful, dude. Well, I didn't do it. Well. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sad. I would never be able to do anything like that. Sexually abuse or assault somebody? I would not even conceive of it. I fucking hope not. You're saying it like it's a thing that you might. It's like you, you're talking about it like it's skydiving. <laughs> yeah. You're like, no, nah, I don't think I could do that. I don't know if that's for me. That's insane. I know, but I couldn't. No shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most humans don't. Because it's like the motive. Like, first of all, what would motivate me to do it? You have to ask that. Would you ever join a gang? Oh, yeah. You would have you would have joined a gang. Yeah, if but go- as soon as there's initiations, I wouldn't be able to do it. Because they beat you up. No, if even if they, you know how some gangs are like, you know, you got to kill two humans. You know what I mean to join the gang. Well, what about you? Got to get jumped in first. First of all, they they beat the shit but out. But jumping, of you. I because I don't have like this right nerve endings. Because yeah. when Ari Shafir beat the shit out of me, I didn't really feel anything. Oh, so you could take a jump in? Yeah, I can take that. Do the yakuza jump people in? No, they chop a finger off. That's tight. Which one do they do? This one. Your ring finger. I think so, yeah. Because you're married to the game. Yeah, yeah. That's fucking dope. So they dope. chopped the finger. I couldn't do that, could you? I could take a finger more than I would take a beating. What? Because I've been in enough fist fights, and fights hurt a lot, and, and one-on-one sucks. If you're getting beat by like five, six dudes, yeah, they could beat you to, they could beat right, you to death, or right. you could, your brain could go gone. Yeah, but not, not if you do this. I, I do this when I'm being beat up. They could still get you, dude. Oh. They kick you in the head enough times you die. Yeah. Cut off my finger. Fine. Yeah. But they, as long as they got the proper stuff to wrap it. What if there was a gang out. that like cut off your nut sack? Would you do that? No way. One nut. No. Half a nut. Yeah. Okay. 
half a nut seems, seems okay. Half a nut's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, but just get rid of one then, because half a nut probably doesn't work. It probably doesn't look good. Well, you can't tell it's in a sack. And then you'd have to explain it. You know how those refrigerators. It's half a nut. You know how those refrigerators that you can look inside and see what's inside the inside the fridge. You ever seen this? There's mm. like translucent. Yeah. That'd be cool if they if you could look inside your sack and see which. Because I I, w- I would love to see what's going on inside of my sack. Oh yeah, my but my it would be a lazy party. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah my just, dudes would be just like floating there like this. Here's my here's my guys like this. As soon as you open it up, here's my guys. Hey, what what are you yeah what are you doing here? <laughs> yeah. What are you doing in here? Yeah. And you're well, like, well, yeah. What what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. One time in college. Yeah. Um, I had um, I got this thing. I had this thing. This like pain. In my nut, and the doctor told me to go jerk off in a hot tub. Swear, I swear to God, I swear to God on my life. He told me masturbate in a hot tub, so I did. did it didn't go away. Really? No, it didn't go away. And I went back and I said I did what you said, and it didn't go away. And he goes, "Huh? That's it." <laughs> a really? doctor? Yeah. He goes, "Huh?" My dad, my mom, and dad had a bathtub. A jetted tub? No, it was just a regular bed. But the the faucet of the bathtub was so strong. You'd put it against your clit. So it'd sit there like this, right? When my dad was at, my parents were at work, and I, like this, and it would go down, and I would go, and I would just jerk off with the water flowing on it. Wait, wait, uh, ow, ow, on the, uh, like going on the head of your penis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. But I would jerk off too. It felt so good. So uh, hard water. <laughs> And yeah, and just... I would jerk off too, like this, right? Mm-mm. Yeah, and I would go like this, like this. And the one time, and this is not a lie, I swear to God, I go, uh, uh, and I was making this noise, uh, uh, and then all of a sudden I hear, <laughs> and I turn around, it's my dad. <laughs> and he never brought it up. We never really, he never discussed it. Did you not? No. Why? I went, oh, uh, like, and, I, and I saw my dad, and, I, and we locked eyes. Like this, <laughs> yeah, uh, and I, and he walked out of the room, and there was just like great shame. Yeah, yeah, it is. You know, that's how I fr- when I jerk off. When I was young, when I first started jerking off, I did what I call the rock star slide. What's that? Yeah, I would jerk off like this always. Spread like, cause you know how rather ra- ra- with a guitar. <laughs> yeah. So this is literally because my desk was about this height at home. So if I was looking at porn, I would jerk off like this into something on the ground. Yeah. I would always rock star slide. And one time after I was rock star sliding, I had been jerking off twice or three times or four times that, that day because I was young and I was wearing basketball shorts and I sat down on the couch and my knees were discolored because I was in that new position. <laughs> and my dad was like, what the fuck you been doing? <laughs> really? Yeah. He saw my knees. He's like, what's wrong? What happened? Was that from basketball? I was like, yeah, no, I took a spill, <laughs> spill in basketball. Yeah. No, I bruised my knees because I jerked off so much. I rock star slided because it was my favorite way to come. Were you, like, at that age, were you, because I was such a depressed kid. Were you depressed? Or I, were you always happy-go-lucky? No, I, 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 I only, I went through depression. I went through depression um, a few times. When I first went to high school, I was very depressed because um, I had no friends. I went to a different school than all my friends went to. I had no friends. I was a fucking total loser. My mom knew things were bad because I was doing really good in school. She said that. Mm. She goes, you were killing it. I knew something was wrong. I was getting straight A's. She was like, something's wrong. Because my whole life, I never got straight A's. I, oh, fu- I fucked around. Oh, you put your attention on... Is that school. What it, yeah. School. I yeah, focused I, on school because yeah. I didn't have any friends. And then I slowly made friends and my grades poof, went way down. Drugs, buds. So that was, that, that was my big problem. Drugs and friends, they plummeted my grades. And I, was, I wasn't depressed anymore. But I was depressed at the beginning for a long time. And I didn't think about killing myself, but I used to cry a lot in my room to... Um, Pearl Jam's Vitology album. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I did. If I got in a fight with my parents, I put on the song Better Man and I would cry. Yeah. When I would live in Minnesota and then we moved to San Diego, I remember this distinctly. The first day of school, we had soft, we played softball and I was running, right, to a base. And this Filipino just kicked me in the nuts. <laughs> For no reason? <laughs> and it hurt so bad. I thought I was going to die. And I, I was crying and no one helped me. Right, yeah. That's the epitome of my life. Did you throw up? I didn't throw up, but I just remember going. I, I even as that age, I had always had thoughts of just vanishing or dying. Of going away. Yeah, of going away. Yeah. Your brother says the same things. You know that. Yeah, I know my brother does too. That's yeah. so sad to me. 
Yeah, because you have to understand because of the trauma at home. I understand. I know it's just it's still sad that you want. to- I know, but I'm just telling you, fucker. Yeah, we all. But know. The, the trauma at home. I'm not gonna get into it, but the trauma at home, and then when some Filipino guy that you don't even know kicks you in the nutsack. Yeah. Right. You can't even have that pleasure of stealing a base or whatever. Well, don't steal. A, don't steal. You just learned the don't steal a pearl jam. <laughs> don't steal. Oh. That's what it was. That was that was Is that, that what was that karmatic was? retribution. Yeah. I Wait. got I got I took a baseball to the nuts when I was in little league yeah. and I threw up for like no shit like 2 minutes straight. <laughs> I remember having like a big breakfast and I swear to god yeah. my dad had yelled at me over and over wear a cup wear a cup wear a cup and I didn't wear a cup and I was playing the hot pocket shortstop <laughs> Caught one right in the nards, and I'm not. It was almost. Inst, it was almost instantaneous. It was like it was like ball hit, nut. Bang! <laughs> yeah. I, I couldn't stop throwing up. Imagine how funny it would be if when you, if you died, right, mm -hmm. and you were in heaven, and you're like, "Hey, could I see the Andrew Santino clips?" <laughs> <laughs> right, and God's like, "You mean even the most embarrassing moments?" That would be ever as a kid. Imagine being a theater. Watching your friends' embarrassing moment cl clips as a kid all the way up to their adulthood. That's what heaven really is. We would laugh. You would laugh to the point where you would die again. I would love to be able to see that right before I, I die. Yeah. On my deathbed, if they could show you your best of. The best of, yeah. Uh, oh, my God. One of my, most, one of my most embarrassing, another embarrassing moment. I was masturbating in my parents in my mom's room because they, <laughs> they, they had the VCR in yeah. their room yeah. and I had a VCR in. Yeah. And I, I thought my mom was gone. My dad might have been in the basement, but I thought my mom was not home, and I thought it was my little sister, and I was jerking off, and my sister, I mean, my mom came in the room, but I couldn't see her. I was on the other side of the room, and I, and I was jerking off, and yeah. I just go, Katie, get out! Get out! <laughs> and my mom yeah. goes, it's me, bud. And I, Really? And I, and, I, and and dude, I'm I'm not I'm not kidding. Yeah. I I started sweating, getting hot. I was gonna I was having like a panic attack for the first time in my life. Yeah. And my dick. Got so soft yeah. that it got it, that it, it got so small and hard again. Do you know when it gets hard? If you if you ever been so scared and your dick gets small and hard, <laughs> it, yeah. no, it gets like swollen and tight. No, that, no, you know no, that no. it gets so tight and swollen. That never and scared. happened to me. But that's oh my god, you. it got so scared. Well, you're let's not talk about my fucking dick with your dick, okay? But it got tiny and scared. It got. Why would you attack me? You just said that's never happened to me, but it, we're trying to be relatable here to each other. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not stepping on you. All right. You jerked off in a fucking tub. I didn't mock how insane that was. <laughs> <laughs> that you let 90 miles an hour rushing water penetrate the head of your penis. Psycho. What do you guys think? I thought that was really funny. Anyway, now we have to fast forward almost a year to May 2021. Our Cinco de Mayo special. What happened that day? Well, again, Andrew had his vaccine shot the day before. He wasn't feeling that well. Bobby felt the energy was a little off. I think they're super funny like they always are, but they didn't feel it. So we we shelved this episode again and, and re-recorded a couple days later on the same set. And and if you go to our website, you'll see that, you know, the Cinco de Amigos was, was air and you'll see that it's exactly the same set. But we've never seen uh, or you've never seen this 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 episode. So... Here is the Cinco de Mayo special. <laughs> bro, bro, you can't do that anymore. You can't do that. You can't, you can't do that. Yeah. Mr. Speedy. When I used to go to um, Tijuana, Speedy. You, you would walk down the street like in Tijuana back in the late 80s, early 90s. Yeah. And you'd have like... Just kids come up to you and go selling Mister, chiclets. Mister, Mister, please, Mister. Yeah, and you're like, get the fuck off, man! Get out of here! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you buy you buy chiclets, please? I was telling her. I was telling her earlier. I I used to play, I used to sell corn. Sell corn? Do you know that? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you told me that. yeah I used to sell corn. <laughs> And, By the um, way, watching you sell corn, oh, what a great bit to watch you sell corn. I yeah, wish I was around for that. Yeah, so I had had, I had to wake up five in the morning and pick up a. Uh, Corn from Donald Yasuwachi's farm, mm -hmm. and go to the side of the freeway, mm -hmm. and um, I had this corn stand, and I told the Mexican guys to um, make me a sign, a big corn sign, because no one was coming. Right. So I was like, on the side of the road, and the sign said "Cron." <laughs> <laughs> fresh C cron. C R O N. Fresh, right? fresh corn. So, so the sign said "Cron," right, mm -hmm. and then. Um, so a couple of days later, like not a single person came to my corn stand. Your so, cron stand. 
my cron sent. So yeah. I told my dad. My dad goes, "You know why? Like why? Because you have to yell the corn. You have to what? Yell the corn. Oh, you have to yell. I'm the on the corn? side of the freeway. Yeah. So now the next day, right? Yeah. I've got corn in my hand, right? And I'm going." Right, screaming it, right? <laughs> and I had to do it because I, I had this fear that my dad would be across the street. Watching you. Watching me. Louder! <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, it was a nightmare. Did you sell, did you make any money doing that for real? You Dude, did you it for me, like how long, you said? A whole, a whole summer. Yeah. And he, 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 I had to work 12 hours. Oh my God. And he'd give me a hundred bucks. For 12 hours? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she, this little one. I can't even see Rudy. This ungrateful little girl, right? Hi, Rude. She goes, get the baby today on the car. What were you doing at 19? So I was telling her I was selling corn. I work constructions. Right. And I go, if I was on, you know what I mean, a radio show like this or a yeah. podcast, it would have been a life changer. It would have been a dream. But this means nothing to her. It means zero. Zero. Less than no, zero. Nothing. How excited are you to come see us? Oh, my God. I, 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 I <laughs> the know. breath? I know. The breath. <sighs> not really. La not yeah. really at all. Obviously, not at all. A little. No, it's no, nothing. That's bullshit. Nothing. It's bullshit. <laughs> Honestly, she, that really breaks my yeah, heart. Yeah, and, I, and I, said, I said to her, I said, come on, Jewel, let's go. And she, and she does this face. Like she has to go to jury duty. <laughs> that's right. right. She goes like this. She goes. <laughs> Did you do that? No. Pull yeah. the mic closer to your face. We yeah, even got yeah, you yeah. a new mic. We don't mic. even know how to do this yet after fucking uh, 200. 67 weeks. 60, I don't even know what this yeah, is yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's over a year. Yeah. What have you, what have you taken away from this show that you really do enjoy? Doing, um, reading the scripts. Oh, you love reading, oh, scripts. reading scripts. Okay, well, we should, maybe we should read a script today. Do we have a Mexican script? By the way, happy Cinco de Mayo to our- What uh, is it? What, what, can, uh, I know you're into history. Big time. And you know, I, and I always I always call you when, when I have historical questions and yep. things that I don't know much about, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know anything about the Cinco de Mayo. I know it's the 5th of May. 5th of May. And so that's Used to great. be the 6th of May. Why? 7th de, de Mayo. It used to be siete. Siete de Was mayo. Was there ever uno de mayo? There. Okay, check this out. Yeah. The reason. Do you know why it falls on the fifth? Why? Because of how many soldiers have fought in the Spanish uh, Mexican American War. This there was a three war. People only know Spanish American. There was a Spanish Mexican American War, right? <laughs> uh -huh. I'm dead serious. I, I love it. And there were five soldiers, right? Mm -hmm. That's all. That's all Mexico had. Okay, we have us five. And they oh, showed up. Oh, that's what it was. Right. Well, they had six. It was going to be Siete de Mayo. Ah. But the, si the, the sixth, sixth guy, one got what? He was Chlamydia? He, he, he bailed. Six uh. means seis. Huh? Seis is six. I think I know Spanish. And but um, oh, I think right. I know Spanish. It's also, you're Spanish and they're Mexican. So it's got to be different. Totally different languages. Yeah. It's got to be different. This is what's so annoying about you is you I get, you get real uppity about. I hate them. You speak Spain Spanish. This is Mexican Spanish. Upstart. Oh my hey. God. You know how much heartache Credit card I've... debt consumed my life. It, 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 it destroyed me. So much And money. without Upstart, I wasn't able to consolidate everything into yeah. one interface here. If you're carrying your credit card balance month after month, you feel like you're never in any cycle of debt, which happens to most people in the United States. Yeah. Upstart can help you make that final payment so you can get way ahead. If you dread looking at your credit card statements, you're not alone. You're not alone. The weight of debt can be crippling, but mm. Upstart can help you on your path to financial freedom. That's right. It's a fast and easy way to pay off your debt loan with one personal loan. All done online. Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, over a million people have used Upstart to get one fixed monthly payment with a clearly pay off date. Here's the best part. $1,000 to $50,000 within minutes, oh you can get that loan Same. online. You can check your rate without impacting your credit score. And uh, in minutes, loans, you can get between $1,000 to $50,000. That's so much money. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash badfriends. That's upstart.com slash badfriends. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know we sent you. Yeah. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit income and certain other information provided in your loan application. Upstart.com slash badfriends. HelloFresh. Oh, my God. I love HelloFresh. And, I, you know, when that box of goodies... You know, there's a box. Do you go you, like this when you see it? You oh, like put yeah, your fingers? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's diabolical. So what I, happens, I drive up. I see the box. We open up the box. There's It's easy instructions. Pre-portioned meals. Pre-portioned meals, right? You make it. Your family loves it. Yep. It's the best. Check it out. And you can go back to doing what you love. They deliver pre-portioned ingredients to your door, including farm-fresh produce that arrives within a week. 
So you get it from the farm to your house. The new year is a great time to focus on what's important to you, whether it's saving money by ordering less takeout, learning to cook, or prioritizing your wellness. HelloFresh is here to help with endless options to make cooking at home simple and enjoyable. Hey, 72% cheaper than a restaurant meal, the oh same my quality. God. You can save an average of $65 a month when you order HelloFresh instead of grocery shopping. Come yeah, on, man. HelloFresh offers 50 menu and market items to choose from every week, including veggie, calorie smart, family family friendly mm. and gourmet options providing plenty of variety recipes like hibachi, hibachi sweet, sweet soy, soy bavet steak, steak so and good. shrimp bring restaurant quality meals right to your kitchen hellofresh offers the flexibility uh, that you need to easily customize your order online with the app. Yeah, huh? easily change your delivery day, food preferences, and plan size, and skip a week whenever you need to. It's easy beasy. Go to HelloFresh.com slash BadFriend16. Use the code BadFriend16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. Hi. Go to HelloFresh.com slash BadFriend16 and use code BadFriend16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Totally different. Anyway, so the Siete de Mayo was going to be the day. Mm -hmm. And the Spanish-American-Mexican War, mm -hmm. what ended up happening is the, the Mexicans brought food on the first day of the, of the war. Mm -hmm. You know, before we fight, you know, for eat, so they brought these delicious tacos and sopapitas and uh, cochulos and um, uh, crocantes uh, and uh, chicharrones and uh, porcatoseos. Do you know what porcatoseos is? Mm -hmm. It's like, un the, un you know, pork belly? I just said I knew what it was. You know what it is? It's pork belly. It's, well, it's just like pork <laughs> belly. And then there was, uh, and portanos. And portanos are like wrapped potato. Yeah, skin. I know what you they know, are. You know what yeah. a portano is. They're wrapped potatoes. Wrapped potato skins. Exactly. Right. So anyway, um, they brought this to the war. The Americans realized these guys are great allies. They're good with their hands. They're good building. And the Spaniards came dressed real fancy. Mm -hmm. Real fancy. They're like, we don't want to get dirt on their shirts. They didn't want to get dirt on their shirts. Yeah. And the Americans immediately sided with the Mexicans. We beat them. Yeah. That's the celebration of that's Cinco amazing. De Mayo. And thank you so much. I, and I regret asking. Yeah, I regret asking. Okay. Um, also, um, I just remember <laughs> this in third grade. Um, so you know when I lived in Minnesota. Yeah. Okay. Land of lakes. The land of lakes. 10, I lived 000. in Edina, Minnesota, and I used to my I used to have these birthday parties. Yeah. And all the white kids. It was, I had only white kid friends. Right. And because I'm elite. <laughs> I'm an elitist. You are. And they, you know, they, they've always like you know. You still kind of only have white friends. No, I have some. Uh, no, no, that's not true. That's crazy. The majority of your friends are white. Let me think. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I was thinking, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm trying. I thought of not a single black person. They're white. No. So anyway, um, um, my dad for I think it was third grade, second grade, or whatever. They mm. got me a piñata. Oh. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah. And at my birthday party, and they blindfolded us. You know, the regular kids got regular blindfold. I got dental floss. <laughs> <laughs> It's an old joke. All <laughs> joke. <laughs> yeah. So bad. No, I had the regular, uh, the regular um, blindfold, <laughs> right? And it took us about forty-five minutes. Yeah. To bust it open. What was inside? Nothing. They forgot to fill. Yes. It. Your dad just. They went don't to... know. They didn't know. My parents didn't know You're what it to... was. You know what? They just thought beat it up. Yeah. That's a, that's the whole purpose of it. Yeah. It's just to beat up a donkey. Hit the donkey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I get. I, they're, I'm not. They're not wrong. I think it's so. Lame that they don't come pre-stuffed. Put stuff in there. Why do I have to put stuff in there? I, yeah, bought, yeah. I bought yeah, it. Yeah, they have to put it. Yeah, you have to put Stupid. it in. They forgot. And if you're going to put stuff in there, put money. Money. Cocaine. Cocaine. Right? Some weed, maybe? A little, a little Imagine bit of weed. Imagine as, as a kid. <laughs> right? Honestly. Money, weed, and cocaine? Yeah. <laughs> I would just be like, you do love me, or you, whatever. You care. Yeah. Have you ever hit a pinata, Rude? Yeah, but in the Philippines, we use a pot. Oh my, oh my god, god. That's let's so, let's that's go oh, so, so sad. Wait, you use a pot from your kitchen? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. So you let me just ask you. <laughs> so you take you dangle a pot, right? No, no, they have a piñata but they hit it with a pot. No. no. We use a pot. The piñata is it's the pot. pot. <laughs> right. So you're Oh they're, my god. They're dangling yeah. a pot, right? So it's like a, a big pot filled with what? Um, coins and chocolate. And you ha they hang it from a tree. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And what do you hit it with? Just a, a stick. A stick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is <laughs> a so good. Can you do it? Again? That's so good. Filipino piñata. 
Man, no, but, but, I like but, you guys. Yeah, I yeah. really do. That's so funny. <laughs> Here know. I'm thinking they hit it with a pot. No, that's funny to me. That's what. No, no, no. The, the, the pot actual is pot is the donkey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's it makes sense though because you can fill the pot obviously yes. with either water, right, or candy, right. And right. there it is. There's, there, there it is. is. Yeah. So there. What is it called? Oh my god, that is so fucking funny. It's a, it says. Oh, it's a ceramic pot, so it's not yeah. metal. It's ceramic, so, so you can break it. Shards of it like smack you in the face. <laughs> No. Yeah. It's like an IED like when you that. hit it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like a So that's you. There you are in yeah, the background, yeah, yeah. right there. Yeah, that's hilarious. So you hit the ceramic pot, it shatters, and yeah. everything comes out. But doesn't that stuff either shatter and hit kids? Because ceramic is sharp when it breaks. Yeah, but I've never seen you have the eye. You have, you have, you have eye and, uh, that's why they put it on the eyes. So they don't. That blindfold. That's actually yeah, smart. They don't gouge their eyes out. Well, how about this? Are they all wearing shoes? I don't think so. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shards of ceramic just on the floor. That's what I love, the recklessness of other countries. They don't care. There it is Bro, again. I'm telling you right now, Andrew. Wow. Did I ever tell you about our talent show? No. What talent show? All right, so, Kalila, the last time we were in the Philippines, we were in Cebu, right? Yeah. And Kalila just w w goes one day, she goes, let's do a talent show. Yeah. I go, like, amongst ourselves? <laughs> no, that's the island. <laughs> the whole island? Yeah. Okay. So go, well, how does that work? I mean, do we, it, I mean, we, we had nothing. We, we're leaving. We're going to another island three days. I mean, the, we had plans. Right. Oh, no, no. I'll just call a friend up. Right? <laughs> okay. So I go, and and I go, well, where are we going to do it? We're at, at, what, at some gymnasium? Yeah. Uh, some yeah. outdoor gymnasium, right? <laughs> and I go, who's hosting it? I, go, I know this gay guy that, does, you know what I mean? Whatever. Right? So the whole family go out there. Right. <laughs> and um, it, it literally was like American Idol. It like, was huge. Like, a big deal. The whole town came. Oh, wow. All right? You were there. Yeah. Yeah, the whole town came, right? <laughs> and I was like stressing out now. Yeah. Like I'm judging it, right? Oh, they want you to be a judge. It's my talent show. It's my talent show. <laughs> it's I thought it's a thing that's taking place. No, no, I'm got... doing it. Bobby Lee I'm presents. I'm producing it. This is Bobby Lee presents okay. talent show. Okay. Right? Yeah. Right? So then we um we show up there and I'm like, oh, we need categories, right? So we had dance category. Ooh. Right? Any good dancers? Oh, my God. I mean, it was like American Idol level. Like legit, they, they Bro, were like- Bro, it was like they're wearing costumes, <laughs> wearing costumes, flip, fire, pyro, <laughs> pyro, pyro technique. Wait, you? how does this happen? Did you go- See, look, look, so that's, this is it. Oh my God. So this is- How did you set this up, Bobby? This, I like, don't know. It was one of those things where you kind of wished it. <laughs> and it happened. And it happened. So wait, can you blow that up? That- so this was the yeah, uh, pin, pinch and pull, and let's see this. So video. this is okay. <laughs> we can't hear it. Yeah. Also, but, by but, the way, but look, but look, just watch. Yeah. So basically, this—they're not even <laughs> compete. This is just us introducing the people. And that guy on the left. What now? This guy's okay. The, oh, to, <laughs> whoa! Yeah. Right. They're trying to up up each other. Right. Right. Wow. Yeah. That's dope. I we had one guy. What was the winner? Who won? I don't remember, but we had this one guy come out with a bucket of gasoline. <laughs> Light someone on fire. I'm not kidding you, dude. Right? He drank it. Yeah. yeah, he drank this gasoline. What do you mean? And swallowed it? Yeah. But then <laughs> did that? Right? He, he he looked like Ghost Rider. His whole head is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. And I was going, ah, you know, we were screaming, right? And then his buddy, right, tries to up him. Right, goes, are you doing fire? Right? right. So he goes, I'm just going to run like Spider-Man on the side of the wall. Like run up the wall. Bro, this guy just starts booking it. <laughs> <laughs> right? Booking it. Starts climbing the wall. There's no fucking, you know what I mean? Nothing to hold on to. Yeah, it's like free solo, but like speed version. Right. Right? He's finding the cracks. He's up there. He's fucking 300 feet up there. Climbing right? the and wall. He, yeah, he's on top of the wall. He's... This gigantic school wall. And he he, he, comes up, he goes, did I win? And I go, I don't know if that's a... Yeah. But it was like... How much the, How much money did they win? I don't know, like a hundred a hundred pesos. So I, don't, I don't know. Nothing. But... You guys just got a free fa uh, talent show and these people worked super hard but for it. it. You don't understand. It was it was a Jokoi sold out. Right. It was it, people, everyone in the town. Yeah. They and so afterwards, I'm like, are you a celebrity now at this? Do they know you? They, I don't know. I don't know if they know who I am. Are, were people kind of like knowing who he was? No. no. Nobody no. knows me. That's there. Awesome. Yeah, which is awesome. That's awesome. And then I go, um, afterwards, I was like, 
And also, I there were times where I thought you'd have to call 911 because I was laughing <laughs> so hard. I was on the floor yeah. holding my sides, tears, <laughs> right? It just, you know what I mean? I couldn't, I breathed. Yeah. I was laughing so hard. So I thought, um, let's make this a show. Yeah, that should be a show. Bobby Lee presents the Philippines yeah, talent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On an island. So 100%. I was going to fly out you. Oh, my God. Maybe Annie Letterman and me. We judge. So fun. Right? Joe Coy will host it. Of course. Right. And it would be uh, a competition. I Honestly, I, this is such a good idea. I would love to see this. Yeah. Americans judging. I already pitched it to AG. They want to do it. <laughs> it's so All funny. Comedy. So yeah, like, we, we should we, do Yeah, that. I want to do it. But then p the pandemic hit. I know. You know what I mean? Our dreams were crushed, but... You, you have to be a judge. No. Yes. Or you have to host it. Maybe you oh host. Oh my God, she hosts. Yeah, you host it. Okay, so look into the camera and I want you to do an introduction to Welcome to Bobby Lee's uh, Philipp uh, Philippines Got Talent. Come on, say your name <laughs> and, and some energy though. And, and also, just listen, all right? Literally, don't half-ass it. Literally feel, feel it. the crowd. Yeah. Feel what you're going to feel like when you're <laughs> on day, right? I don't have the feeling. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I said go back. Try to try to get gra get the feeling. Okay, close your eyes real fast. Ready? Yeah. Visualize. 5,000 screaming people in Cebu. Screaming at the top of their lungs. What do they scream? What's a word? What's a... They say, woo, woo, woo. Okay, woo, woo. <laughs> Close yeah, your yeah, eyes. Yeah, 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 like anywhere else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so 5,000. Yeah. Whoa, 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 And they're excited right, to see right, you. Right, 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 right. right. And, and then, then, then camera swoops No, no, down. maybe maybe there's a uh, an announcer yep. backstage. Uh -huh. You do it. <laughs> <laughs> do the accent. We need you to do it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, Rudy, but you zip. Yeah. <sighs> woo, 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 woo. Hello everyone, I'm Rudy Jules and welcome to Bobby Lee's Got Talent show. Yes. Yes. Great. <laughs> Perfect. Go ahead. Keep going. Who are some of the contestants today? Woo 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 Or the, the categories. The categories. The categories for today are dancing, singing, and eating. 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 Woo 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 and you're then hired. That's it. And then that's it. You're hired. You're hired. That's 100%. Great. Amazing. You're doing it. Do you want to do it? No. Why? Yes. I'll tell you, I'll tell you why it'll freak her out. Why? I think it'd be easier here than there. Yeah. Well, because it's because on camera. Because she's from there. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Her family's going to be there. Her friends are going to be there. And there's a lot of pressure. See, look at her. She's already having a panic. But I mean, you go to America, you become a star, and you go back. Think of how popular you'll be in Cebu. Nobody watches. Listen, want... bro. Hey. Nobody listens to bad friends there. We have Cebu fans. <laughs> Two. Three. Maybe. But fine. Well, three is enough. And they spread the word like wildfire. Yeah, yeah. You're a big dog in Cebu, man. Honestly, I, I would love if I wish there was someone listening that could vouch that there are people in Cebu that listen. I guarantee you there are. What about like expats and stuff Maybe like that? Maybe 20. I'm being real. Okay, 100 even is enough to spread it around. Yeah. I bet you she's acquired some fans in Cebu. Somebody's got to know you. But you know what's great though? In college, I think, when you go to college in America, I think, I think a guy will be like, you know, an AP, you know, bio or whatever. Uh huh. And go, are you Rudy? Don't you think? Mm hmm. Don't you think? You think? Yeah, someone's going to go. Someone's going to go. And they're going to be Some like. Some nerd's going to walk up with books and go, excuse me, are you. <laughs> are you Rudy Jules? <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to say? What did he says? What are you going to say? Yeah, what are you going to say? Hi, are you Rudy Jules? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm his buddy, too. Me. That's my I, buddy. I, oh my God. I, I, I think that's Rudy Jules. Yeah. <laughs> Are you already Jules? <laughs> yes, it's me. Oh my god! Oh, wow, we're in the same class together. <laughs> nice. It, nice. Nice. <laughs> that's what, 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 what? What's um, Andrew and Bobby like? Yeah, what are they like? They're both really weird. Oh, cool. Oh, cool, man. <laughs> so tell me, are so, you are uh, are you gonna keep doing the show when you go to college? Because you're here in college with us. Yeah, I think so. Oh, oh cool. wow. Neat. Is it is it cool being a celebrity? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a celebrity. Oh, t t t I'm ner I'm we're nervous. Right? We're you we're usually confident, like when, yeah. when we're not around people like you. But right now we're, we don't even ever even we talk like this normally. But we're right now we're talking like yeah, this because we're so nervous right now. Yeah. Do you want to come party with us um, tonight? Yeah. No, thank you. What? Oh. How about what? It's Why Friday. Not? It's Friday. Friday night. I'm really sleepy. Oh yeah, that's what she yeah, does yeah, on the yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah right. it's just leave me on the show. Cool. <laughs> that's crazy. All right, maybe we'll see you around. Yeah, yeah. Okay, bye. Okay. Wow, that's wow. Yeah, wow. You know how to handle and, it. No, no, that's 
being rude. <laughs> no, no, no. She doesn't know. How, that's being rude. That's, that's being fucking rude. But I'll that's you, how she would handle no, it. No, 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 no. You have to do this. <laughs> okay. Dude, you have to be like, dude, I was just, okay, I want to tell you something. Okay. All right, I was just in Oklahoma. I was just, uh, yeah, I forgot you were in Oklahoma <laughs> where the Oklahoma. wind comes sweeping down the plane. I have to say something about, right? Uh, like, I, whenever I fly to a place like Oklahoma or Tulsa or whatever. Same place, yeah. I get nervous because I think because I don't really do gigs there ever. I've never done a gig there. Yeah, yeah. So it's like I don't know much about it. Right. So to me, it's like Unabomber. Yeah, that too. Yeah, Unabomber, but, yeah. But great. I get nervous because I think um maybe those because and also it's a, it's a big Trumpy place. I think. Uh huh. So I get I feel like there's you, you feel know, like you're gonna be, I'm gonna uh, feel I'm not a part of or uh, feel you know scared whatever. But I what, I had the best time of my life. It's, it was awesome. Oh my god, it was amazing. Well, shooting was great, but like the, then hanging out. No, there was hanging nice. out was great because I would I would take those scooters. I was in downtown Tulsa. Sure. And I'd go to restaurants. Right. And I went to this one called um, Bull in the Alley. I like I like the name. They were really good food. Steaks and stuff like that. Oh or my what god, it? amazing! It was yeah? amazing. So I sat there in Bull in the Alley, and um, I'm just sitting there waiting for my food, and I see this 50, 60 year old lady. Uh-huh. She's masked. All right, and she's. I'm sitting here eating like this, and she's right here, and she's doing this, <laughs> <laughs> just standing next to you, <laughs> staring yeah, at you, staring at me. What? She's like literally right here. Yeah. There's a shield, but she's, yeah, <laughs> right. And I and I'm like, I have my a bacon appetizer, some salad. I keep looking over, and she's like, right. <laughs> so like, hi, hi. She, hi. She goes, are you, are you, Bobby Lee? I go, yeah. She goes. <laughs> I love you. I love you on Magnum PI. Whatever. Yes. Which is a weird. No, that's right. awesome. Okay. It's like, oh, great. You watched the show? Yeah. I think they just got picked up from those. She says, she that's great. That's great. And she just st- stood there <laughs> for 12 minutes. I like this right? woman. Yeah, she's cool. And I and then I go, oh, so what do you do? She's like, oh, I, 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 I don't live here. I don't live here. Uh, we're just visiting here. Me and my daughter. Do- do- okay, go get my daughter. Oh, boy. Yeah, get she your daughter. She goes, right? Yeah. I'm like, oh, what the fuck? She comes back with, now there's two. <laughs> right, right next to me, right? And it's just like, I'm just, you know, when you're in a situation like that. Also, it's like, because of the pandemic and because I haven't been, you know, I haven't been to a restaurant. I haven't been out with anybody, right? Yeah. That you're like trying to, yeah, you know what I mean? I you're know. trying to engage and not be a dick, But it's right? hard because you're, it's also weird in the masks and the separation. And right. All that. So yeah. what I, what I figured out to do is like, just kind of like, Get get to have a nice day as quickly as you can. Yeah. Right. So it's it basically in. like, yeah. So I'm shooting the show um, right here, and it's not out yet. And um, you know, I really like to. So anyway, have a nice day. Have a good meal. That's that. Well, that's a polite way to do it. They just they they they, they didn't leave. <laughs> <laughs> they just they, watched you they eat. Did, they didn't leave. They're like, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're just gonna hang. And then um, in back of me, and um, I heard there was another couple, uh-huh. an old couple, probably six years old. And this man was like, <laughs> he got laughing like that. <laughs> I turn yeah. around, I go, "What's up?" Yeah. He goes, "I love you on podcast, man." <laughs> right? And I go, <laughs> "Oh, cool." And she, and it's ne- it's I think either Tiger Belly or Bad Friends. Sure. No. Siv- it was a what's that? What sibling rivalry? I don't even know what that is. It's Oliver Hudson's and Kate Hudson. Oh, and Kate Hudson's show. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I go, oh yeah. And I thought, you know what I mean? It'd be a bad friends thing. Did he look like a? a he sounds like a bad friends fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He doesn't sound like a Kate Hudson. But Hudson. yeah, but you have to be Jules. What I'm saying is, is that in if when you're in college, you got to be a sweetie, and pie. people recognize you. I you will can, be no, nice. you were, that was not though nice. Because, try it again. Because it's both of you. All right. Well, then try it again when it's just Bobby. Bobby is the nerd, and let's hear how you handle this situation. And maybe we're playing it. You know what? We were playing it kind of unrealistic and okay, play way it real. too over. Play it real. So I'll play it real. Excuse me. Yeah. Hi. Um. My name is Frank, and I'm. Um. I live. Uh, no, I live. It's silly. I don't even live here. No, I'm just. <laughs> I'm sitting three rows back in back of you in class. Yeah. Anyway, I'm, I, I'm. But um, I. I. I know who you are. You're, from, are you Jules? You're Jules from, or, or they call you Rudy on Bad Friends, right? Yeah, but yeah, it's just I just want to let you know that I'm like one of the, probably their biggest fan. You guys' biggest fan. I mean, I just I when I saw you in class, I like called like all my homies from back home, and I said I, you can't fucking believe who's in my class, and I just wanted to let you know that like I'm not being creepy or a weirdo. Right. Um, I just want to know. Um, I just want. Uh, 
It's hard for me to say. I just, I, I, I want, I want uh, to see if you that's ever. That's really nice. Uh, you can call me Jules, not Rudy. And yeah, maybe we can talk some other time. But I have to go. Well, the class hasn't started yet, and the t- professor's not in yet. I need to poo. Oh, you need a poo? Yeah. Oh, I'll just, I'll be here when you get back. Okay. I, I have to poo at home. I have to poo at home. The, you're gonna leave class. I have to walk okay. because I don't have a car. Right. So well, I might uh, take... Before you go, though, can I just say, can we ever hang out, you think? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can I give you a, a realistic version like that? Ready? I'll give you a real one. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. What? What are you doing? Wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop, stop. Cut. What? Cut. Wait, I'm prepping. No, to, that's no, how I prep. Dude, 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 dude. That's how I prep. Cut for a second. That's I'm how the I director. Prep. Okay. Cut for a second. Like that's right? how I prep, bro. Yeah. Too much. Really? Yeah. <laughs> too okay. much. I just dude. feel this like is, I embodied I a bad it. Friends but fan. Nobody, right? Nobody. <laughs> wait, wait. That's how I settle in. I know. This is what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, that's how I settle in. Yeah. As soon as that happens, Jules, if you ever see anyone do that, get the fuck out. No. Okay. Okay. All right. So action. Hold on. Let me settle. Yeah. 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 No, no, no! All right, keep going. <laughs> hey, are you Rudy Jewel? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man, I love my bad friends. <laughs> are you in the movie There Will Be Blood? I mean, <laughs> I just moved here from uh, Kentucky. Uh, you might think I look weird, but it was because I was in a severe car accident. How old are you? 36. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I, I, lost. I have to go. Yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait. Let him wait. tell you his fucking yeah. story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't. <laughs> let him, let him. Okay. Anyway, I'm a big fan. And I, this, this is my first time in college because when I was 17, I got into a bad car accident and I lost both of my parents and my brother, and my baby sister. So I, I live alone and they left me six point eight million dollars i have nothing to do and no one to spend with i'm a really nice person just people don't want to hang with me and i just figured maybe you and i could go out to eat some food maybe later uh i already have a boyfriend oh i don't want to be a boyfriend i just want a friend i already have a lot of friends wow ouch <laughs> but, uh, but i could be i could be another uh, look i'll just pay for everything for you guys and i'll just sit in the background you won't even see me is that okay okay that's so fucked up that's so fucked up that you said okay to that. Rudy, that's what gross. Okay, she'll let, yeah, you pay for everything and sit in the background. No, 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 you. I see you're alone. No, no, no. You I said, just, that was it. I, you I said I alone. pay for you and your yeah, friends. I'm friends. That's what you said. When they go out. No, no. no pay for, and I will be. So I imagine, Watching. right? You're at, let's say, Olive Garden. Watching. Right. Yeah, there's yeah. a there's a, yes. a a main long table yeah. with her and all her friends. Yeah. And there's a two top with me. Where are you it. with you there? Well, yeah. So, as in, I think that's cool. Okay. Well, I guess I guess that's the best deal that I could get. Maybe okay, I, I have to go. Well, can I have your phone number real fast so we trade swap numbers? Is that the way I'll know where we're going to meet? <laughs> I don't have my phone right now. Oh, man. Do you have to leave right now? Yeah, you can just um, DM me on Instagram. Oh, totally. I will. Where are you headed to now? Somewhere. You look like you have to poop. I have to go. Bye-bye. 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 As you walk away. <laughs> He's following you. <laughs> <laughs> That character, dude. <laughs> so yeah, creepy. Yeah, it's so like creepy. A, uh, a jitter, just a jittery man. Mm. Honestly, any kind of weird character voice that I take nowadays, is I've heard from South Park over the years. They have the funniest fucking characters that they put on that show, and mm. the voices are just those two guys fucking around. Yeah. I'm so jealous of what they get to do. Yeah. I mean, we kind of get to do that on this uh, fucking it's show. It's like, don't ever say that. Okay, man. <laughs> I love that show. I I'm think South saying, Park is one doing, of the greatest shows of all we're time. We're doing our, our, our bit. Our bit. And we're doing our best. I'm and sorry, I'm, I, you know what, I'm really out of it right now. <laughs> because of the COVID. Oh my God, it's killing me. So you, did, did you announce to everybody that you had That I got, I got the vaccination shot. I'm so loopy today. Yeah, you feel weird. I just, I'm, so, I'm sweaty, I'm hot, I can't really think straight. Yeah. Well, this wraps up the episode for today. Let me know if you enjoyed it, because if you did, I might have a couple little extra things in the vault that I could put there for you. Anyway, I hope you guys 
Join us for this 2022 that starts now and that I think is going to be amazing. We're going to try to make the show even bigger and better if it's possible. We're moving out to a new studio starting next month. So hopefully you guys will be there for us. Uh, go to byfriendsmerch.com for that new merch that we put out. Please subscribe, follow us on Instagram, and thank you for being a bad friend. Hey, everybody, this is Bobby Lee, your slept king, and nosotros papaya. If you love Tiger Belly, you're going to love my new podcast with Andrew Santino. It's called Bad Friends. Please click on the subscription below. Link below. Sure, do it again. Hey, everybody, this is your slept king, Bobby Lee. I love you so much. Nosotros papaya to you. If you love Tiger Belly, you're going to love my new podcast with Andrew Santino. It's called Bad Friends. It comes out every Monday. Please link on the description. Sc- sc- hello. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tiger Belly fans. That was my redheaded freak friend, Andrew Santino. If you love Tiger Belly, you're going to love my new podcast with Andrew Santino. It's called bad friends and uh it comes out every monday please link on the description below click it hi tiger belly fans that was my very good friend the redheaded king andrew santino hey tiger belly fans i love you so much and um if you love tiger belly you're gonna love my new podcast with andy and it's called <laughs> it's called bad friends it comes out every monday please click on the link on the description below that's great 